When it comes to working from home, you want to be productive so you have to find the right balance between being professional and comfortable. You should wear outfits that you won't be embarrassed to be seen outside with. So this outfit sort of falls into that pajamas category. It's a pair of all cotton joggers and a long sleeve cotton crew neck t-shirt with some black socks. Some people wear shoes in the house, I don't. I do have a pair of house slippers in the back in case I do need to wear it. Here I'm wearing just a white crew neck t-shirt and a gray Ralph Lauren sweatsuit which comes with joggers and a hoodie. You can wear the hoodie if you feel like it's gonna be chilly and you need to stay warm inside the house, otherwise just a t-shirt on top works. It's another relaxing outfit that borders the pajamas category but can also be worn outside as well. A big theme of this video are outfits that are made of material that can stretch which goes back to the idea of comfort. So for the next outfit, it's once again a basic white crew neck t-shirt with some Nike Phenom training pants. This outfit is more active wear than the previous outfits we saw before this. This is my typical gym outfit actually. My philosophy is if you can work out in it, you can work from home in it. So for this one, I'm wearing a basic cotton polo shirt that's very soft and has a nice stretch to it for that relaxing fit. The same goes for this pair of dark blue denim jeans which also stretch. Now for this outfit, I bet you're wondering why, since no one's gonna see you anyways. Well, in case you ever do have a webcam meeting, you want to look presentable. Most of the time, they'll see you from your waist up, so hey, if you didn't want to wear pants, you could, but in my opinion, if you plan to leave the house, you might as well have pants on anyways. This outfit continues the smart casual trend. It's a white v-neck basic t-shirt over the same pair of blue jeans we saw before. But this time, it's with a unbuttoned green OCBD, which translates to Oxford collar button down, in case you're wondering. This one is loose and flowy, so it maintains that comfort and semi-professional appearance. This is something I would typically wear to the office, so if it can work in the office, it can work at home as well. This one is pretty much the same outfit, but I added a light beige shawl collar cardigan instead. You know, in case you get chilly, you can wear this too if you don't feel like grabbing a hoodie. Here's another outfit I would typically wear to the office. It's just a dark blue long sleeve t-shirt over some skinny fit chinos. You also have the option to add a pullover hoodie as well in case you get a bit more chilly and you need to stay warm. The chinos may look stiff but they have a nice stretch to them. I just think this is a nice color combo and plus apparently blue is a color that helps people concentrate which makes it great for working from home. To wrap it up, we have a very basic outfit. It's a loose fit gray crew neck t-shirt over some easy fit jeans from Uniqlo. These jeans are made of a stretchy satin material and they are super soft to the touch. I could sleep in these if I wanted to. So that pretty much wraps up this work from home outfits lookbook. The theme of it was clothing pieces that are comfy to wear but at the same time maintain that smart casual appearance. Hopefully this serves as a helpful guide for you while you're working from home. Whether you get these outfits or not, that's up to you. I'm just here to inform you from my perspective, the consumer's perspective. Anyways, let me know what your thoughts are in the comments. And as always, thanks for watching. Until next time, I'm out. If you're new to the channel and are interested in more content like this, be sure to like, subscribe, or share the video. Click on the notification bell to stay up to date as well.